Hello, my name is Vanessa Stewart, a member of the Walters Clore CCH Training and Consulting Team. In the following video, I will show you how to split individual returns with the status of married filing jointly into two new separate returns for the taxpayer and spouse using CCH Access Tax. With this feature, it allows the taxpayer's return to be created as a new version of the existing joint return, and the spouse's return is created as a new return. The joint original return version, however, is not changed. It is important to note the basis for segregating the return information is the existing TS, TSJ, and FSO code fields found on the various federal, state, and city worksheets. These codes determine the allocation of income and deduction entries to either the taxpayer spouse or if they'll be divided equally. For example, if we look at our interest input, we have allocated each interest income item to the proper individual. After completing the married filing jointly return, we can verify that it would be advantageous to file separate returns by viewing the Federal Tax Comparison Worksheet. To turn on the Optimization Worksheet, in the Worksheet Input, select General, Return Options, Section 9, Enter a yes in line 1 and make a selection in line 2 as needed. Calculate your return. Select from the government forms from the left navigational panel. Under the federal header and just below the return summary subheader, you will find the federal tax comparison for married filing joint and separate work paper. Once you are ready to split a joint return, select Split Return from the Activity Group on the Manage tab. At the confirmation prompt, select Yes to split the return. If this is the first time that you are splitting a return, please enter a client ID for the spouse's tax return. Select OK to continue the split. When the split is complete, you will be able to select View Report to see each versions that are resulting from the split. Now you can process each return separately. You can re-enter the joint return and split it again. Each time you do, you are given the option of overriding the previously split returns or creating different versions of the returns. Please note, you cannot split a return that has been created as a result of a split, and you must have the functional right to create clients in order to split joint returns. Thank you for viewing this video. I hope that you have found it helpful. For additional training resources, click the link below to visit our training and consulting webpage.